All right, what up, what up? Doug from Salt Lake. Okay, this is what we've been working on this weekend. This is a notice of no civil dispute. Uh, name and addresses, certified mail number, reference numbers. This is a lawful and legal constructive notice. Uh, this is not a letter saying, hey, uh, I don't understand. Okay, this is going to be one of three. We're going to do a notice of no civil dispute. And let's go through this. So they sent me something the other day. It's their annual notice. Annual is yearly. Uh, and I put in there, I am in receipt of your computer-generated, unsigned annual notice of past due child support. Okay, presented to me April 5th from Team 22. It's another thing you'll notice, man. They never, ever will sign their name to this. Uh, most of the time, they don't put their name on it at all because they don't want to be liable. So they say I owe them $25,312.63, and I actually don't owe them shit. So, uh, so this is what we've put in here of this uh, notice of no civil dispute. This is in my private and public duties. I, Doug, notice that there's no wedding signature, name, or autograph on Office of Recovery Services letter, rendering it authorless. I am sympathetic if this was an error on your part, but it can easily be remedied with a simple letter of apology from you. And until then, I will retain the envelope in your annual notice presentment as part of my evidence gathering. You are erroneously claiming a civil dispute between us. There must be a contract between us for that to be a legal fact, and there is none to my knowledge. So, once again, um, now that I've become secured party, everything uh, that I've been reading uh, has to do with contract law. Okay, These are corporations, these are companies that are in business, and they are liable for contract law, Okay, which is the UCC, the Uniform Commercial Code. And contract law supersedes all federal, state rules, regulations, codes, and statutes. Okay? So they must follow the UCC, okay? There has to be a contract. And what we're doing is we're going to do a three-phase, maybe a four-phase. Uh, we're going to send them this. There's no civil dispute. I need you to answer. And then there will be a uh, you know notice of non-response and dishonor. And then there will be a second letter of no response and dishonor, op uh, opportunity to cure, and then I will send them a default letter, uh, and then I will send them a letter of acquiescence and estoppel. And I wrote this at the bottom, but let's go through this here. So the account number on your letter to me and referenced amount do not reflect any accounts that I have with any creditors to date, and is indeed an account, an amount that I am witnessing for the first time regarding this alleged amount I owe you. Give me your name, please. I'm supposed to say that three times and they have to give it to you. If you are the fiduciary in this matter, I need a copy of the contract between us to con continue further communication. I do not give permission or consent by assent, that means assumptions, presumptions, for you to enter as a third party to into this alleged civil dispute, nor to issue letters to issue letters of a threat to my pro pa bleh. okay, let's start over there. Nor to issue letters of threat to my private property or person, including you reporting to various credit reporting ent entities. I will need the employer identification number of the Office of Recovery Services and the name of the employee sending this letter. Okay, the Clearfield Doctrine is stare decisis, okay, which means it's basically precedent upon all courts. Um, so it's 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 a decision that's already been made, okay, on all courts, and imposes that the entity cannot compel performance. So who's the entity? That would be the child support agency. Cannot compel performance upon its corporate rules, okay unless it, like other corporations, 
is the holder in due course of some contract or commercial agreement between it and the one to whom it demands performance, okay? And is willing to produce said document and place the same into evidence before trying to enforce its demands, okay? I didn't say this. The Clearfield Doctrine says this, okay? So I want to see the contract. I want to see the document I signed for your child support services. Governments descend to a level of a mere private corporation and take on the characteristics of a mere private citizen where private corporate commercial paper, which is Federal Reserve notes and securities, which is checks, is concerned. For purposes of suit lawsuits, such corporations and individuals are regarded as entities entirely separated from government. Okay? So you are not a government agency when you're operating a private corporation. Okay? My house, phone call, uh, telephone, email, personal, or private and only for private use by me, myself, and I, and those to whom I may contract. If you are attempting to enter this alleged civil dispute, which would be between you and your ex-wife, ex-husband, whatever, without a contract or with my permission, you are in trespass. And you need to look that up. I am not a corporation. And here's my filing number. However, you are the Office of Recovery Services and your employees operate in commerce and you are bound by contract law. Give me your name. Produce a contract, delegation of authority. Okay, how did you get the authority? I didn't give it to you. And regulatory authority. Okay, I want to see the rules and regs that allow you to move forward and steal my money without a contract or cease and desist. Unless you are a, par a secured party holder in due course, creditor, debtor, or signer on the original contract, you are a third party. You are a liability and no assistance. Take notice. You are lawfully and legally dismissed. I will not discuss my private affairs with an unqualified third party. In addition, I have examined your annual notice, presentment, and found grave errors constituting possible mail fraud and possible false advertising and have no record or evidence that the Office of Recovery Services or its employees has not used fictitious conveyance of language against me in their employ of the legal trade name Douglas R. Mumy. Okay, well, that's my legal name now. Okay, it's not theirs. And you've used it as a device against the living flesh, blood, sentient man, Douglas Richard Mumy. That's me. And I have a life claim that I've filled out. That's part of my sole, uh, secured party uh, paperwork that I did. Uh, to his unjust pain and injury as it pertains to your unfair business practices. Okay. You have also engaged in deceptive trade practice by using fictitious conveyance of language against the living flesh, blood, sentient man, me, who hereby claims our communications disabled. Okay. Pursuant to 42 U.S.C. 126. If you want to read about that, go look it up. Breached. You have also breached 18 U.S.C. 1342, which is frauds and swindles, by intentionally addressing a fictional all uppercase legal entity name, which is anything but the proper spelling of the living flesh, blood, sentient me, 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 name, with upper and lowercase with proper punctuation. You have also violated 15 U.S.C. 1692E2A, which is false representation of a character, amount, or legal status of a debt. You have also employed in your annual notice presentment the use of dog Latin, all capital letters, for which there is no grammatical rules in the English language, further constitutes fictitious conveyance, and additional breach of 42 U.S.C. The office is also in copyright breach. The all caps name used in your corporation for monetary gain and extortion is my property and the name of my trust. This is your first notice. You will remove my property from your paperwork and your computer system immediately. In your next correspondence, please forward the instrument that establishes my obligation to perform the contract for child support services from the office with a wedding signature 
of both parties, plus your identification and delegation of authority under UCC 3-501, and your regulatory authority, otherwise, regulatory authority, otherwise you will be accepting my offer to provide pen pal services at $1,000 per correspondence. If you accept my offer to provide this service, simply send any correspondence other than what I have requested. Give me your name, please. It might be wise to take notes of the following of the lawful terms of a lawful or terms of a lawful contract. Okay, number one, full disclosure. Did you get that? No, you didn't. Equal consideration. Did you get that? No. Lawful terms and conditions. Did you get that? No. Signatures of the parties. Meaning of the minds. Corporations cannot sign because they have no right, no mind. Uh, contracts are legal fictions. Okay? So they don't have any of this to make a real contract. So this is out of the UCC. This is 3 403. Unless otherwise provided in this article, an unauthorized signature is ineffective except as a signature of an unauthorized signer in favor of a person who in good faith pays the instrument or takes it for value. An unauthorized signature may be ratified for all purposes of this article. Here's uh, number B under 403B. If the signature of more than one person is required to constitute the authorized signature of an organization, well, your marriage is an organization. Your, that's why they have a marriage license. You get a license to uh, operate a business. Okay, The signature of the organization is unauthorized, which means it doesn't exist. It's not, you know, it's, it's not valid if one of the required signatures is lacking. Okay, Prove me wrong. I reserve the right. Furthermore, failure to respond... Okay, shall constitute legal accord and satisfaction of all claims. And for the record, silence is acquiescence, agreement, and consent of the terms of this notice. Okay, so there's a quick one for you. That's what we're doing. We're sending this off today or tomorrow in the mail. And uh, you guys take care.